Hello. Today I will show you how to remove a particulate filter from a 2014 Subaru Outback with a 2-liter diesel engine. To begin with, I dismantled the diesel particulate filter from the car. Then I cut it with a disc grinder, extract its contents and weld it up back. You can see drips on the particulate filter. I oiled bolts with a water displacing spray to facilitate dismantling. The car arrived with a lighted diesel particulate filter indicator. In the course of diagnostics, I found out that the differential pressure is normal. At 3000 revs, it is up to 4 kW. After analyzing temperature regimes, I concluded that there is a problem with the catalyst. The active layer of the catalyst was depleted. The mileage at this car is 90,000 km, and in my experience by this time, the diesel particulate filter is out of order on Subarus, and it needs to be replaced. Now the most important thing. I do not uninstall the particulate filter. In order to avoid errors and regeneration, I installed the emulator SK05. Now you can see how the template settings are being written into the emulator. So the emulator generates correct parameters. The emulator is connected to sensors controlling the particulate filter and generates their parameters. The emulator generates parameters of the differential pressure and two temperatures in the exhaust before and after the catalyst. These parameters are formed on the basis of airflow and current temperature in the exhaust according to installed templates, tables and algorithms. Then I check to see if the emulator works correctly. I start the engine, press the gas pedal and check out current parameters given by the emulator. Voltage from the airflow sensor, temperatures and differential pressure. You can also check the parameters via the diagnostic equipment. Now I specify that the new particulate filter is installed and reset the soot accumulation rate. All parameters have been reset now. The indicator of the particulate filter on the panel fades after the scanner has been reset. After we make sure that the emulator is operating correctly and gives correct readings, we can pack the emulator wiring with a corrugated sleeve. The final touch is a test drive and you can give the car back to a client.